Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Heiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man difficulty and this is a hardcore run. So first mission that fails ends the run. Time for a bomb threat. Uh, we're fighting for some malarium and credits, uh, but really we're mostly fighting to make sure that the unrest is not taking over. Um, also, we're upgrading our um, androids at the moment. Um, I'm still going with the same team, mostly because I want to figure out how bad um, Shelter and Verge would be together in one team. So far, I would. So far, I, I must say there's a bit of redundancy between their psionic abilities, specifically when you have a lot of um, mechanical units. I could see that that's an issue. I I still like Shelter's. Um, uh, ultimate a lot. Um, Verge, I should have in hindsight skilled him a tiny bit different so that he does not rely on Trank uh, ammunition too much because the ammunition that we're having now is indeed uh, a lot better, specifically the one that's dealing extra damage. Um, but he's by no means a bad character. The Quite the opposite. Verge is still extremely strong. Having him in the team um, uh, still enables us. Anyways, we're going in with a single uh, one-shot, so that should not be an, uh, an issue. Let's just quickly do that, and we're probably doing a second mission, um, simply because everything's running so fast. Cheer Up and Blue Blood are still a pretty strong combination. I mean the Phalanx plus um, buff and then face-off combination has turned out to be probably overpowered. Target device spotted. Shut it down. Good. Entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. More crits or extra mobility. You know, I mean... Let's go in with him, and right afterwards, uh, Verge. I like crits. And... Stay behind me. Only two uh, units that are marked are not so much, uh, so much of a problem. Good, we do have enough to use Phalanx here. Yes, please. We're probably going for the Chrysalid. Uh, the Purifier is a good target as well. Yeah, let's start with the Purifier. Another chrysalid, okay, cool. Let's get the purifier down. And how about hitting that chrysalid for real? Ouch. Well, that Andromedon has masked itself quite well. Bring it to a halt. All right, three rounds to defuse the bomb. Fair enough. We're using blue blood and a team up on blue blood. Supercharging everyone. And I think we should kill the mech. All right, Chirrup has done what he's supposed to do. Moving into full cover over here. Oh, 
Let's hit the Andromedon once. That works very well, because we're ignoring armor. And let's face off. Holy shit. Yeah, the encounter's almost done. Everyone said one hit point. I don't think that the chrysalids will really do something. Oh, okay, they don't attack other chrysalids. Well, that was a really sh sh shallow idea. Not so good, Saiken. It's interesting to see. You shouldn't let the chrysalids go berserk. Alright, shelter. How much healing would that be? I think enough. Let's test it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Good. He definitely has a lot of survivability, not even a question. Moving to here. Interact and uh, defuse the bomb. I don't know, I mean, he's still doing very, very well. I'd like to see your, his return fire also triggers when he's being oh, hit yeah. in melee. The answer is yes, and that makes the ability even better. Yeah. Okay, not not much that we could have learned from that mission other uh, than Chira plus uh, Blue Blood are a pretty good team. It's difficult to say. I'm still on the edge between the different options. I mean, Chira certainly uh, resonates super well with the defensive playstyle. I am personally into a defensive playstyle, um, so I like where just what he brings to the table. It's good. I The only thing that I noticed is his ultimate. Um, you need someone like Blue Blood in order to really make it shine. But I can see that the, that the ultimate plus Blue Blood's ability alone is strong enough to, to just clear entire encounters by themselves. And I've that's unparalleled to anyone, uh, anything else that I've seen. Um, the the um, options that we do have from a psionic standpoint with shelter are also quite good. I absolutely like the fracture uh, piece. That's 
that's just an extremely strong ability and I would say he's more self-sufficient, right? So he doesn't need someone else to set him up. I feel though that um, some of his abilities against robotic units when you also do have Verge in your team might be overlapping. So at the moment it's cheer up or torque um, really for the final spot and I need to see how well torque does once she's fully trained up. Um, let me switch the team around again a bit. Shelter moves to here and I'd like to see terminal. I'd like to see the original crew. That's the OG crew. Let's see how they are doing. Taking this here and let's do this. All right, a lot of training completed. Mutant minds felt very different. Yeah, before the elders fused us with human DNA, we were brutes. Do you remember what it was like? Vaguely. I have general impressions, but nothing more. Sort of like a muscle memory? Back then, our brains were almost entirely muscle, so yes, that's apt. New supply items. Impact gel. Yep, then the highest servo, yep, and titanium, okay, so let's see what the android is going to look like. Ballistic foam, impact gel, and that's titanium, so it's actually not that bad for armor. That's a lot. His uh, accuracy still stinks, uh, but the rest seems to be quite good. Scavenger market. Uh, let's take the superior stock. Yes. Uh, the superior scope. And reflex grip is also good. Yeah, we gotta do that mission, fair enough. But before we do any mission, let's take a look how we really want to outfit uh, the team. So, superior scope. Are we going to give her the superior laser sight or do we feel... I think we're going to give her the reflex grip. Um, there might be situations where we don't even need to heal and where she could take two shots. Hmm. On the other hand, she can she has so many abilities to enable others. Healing every round. Let's give her the superior laser sight. Magweave, yes. Holo scanner, I like that one. I don't know about the AP rounds. I actually think that the Trank rounds, given the discussion with Verge's uh, situation, are not so much worse. So Trank rounds, um, and then we're looking for what? I mean, the adhesion grenade, okay, fair enough. Nano med kit, yes. We wanted trank rounds, yes. Oh, we had blue screen rounds. Five extra damage against robotic enemies. Well, that is, that's the original blue screen rounds, and that is pretty damn good. Um, Given that we're fighting against a lot of robots, 
uh, robots. Uh, we're probably giving that to Blue Blood. And she could take his rounds, the Corsic rounds. Yeah, I like them. Good, Nano Med Kit, Corsic Rounds, and I think we're going to give her either the Relocation Disc, I like that one. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, good. That's a very nice loadout. His Venom rounds are okay. He can still use his shield in order to um, to make sure that uh, someone is uh, unconscious. I like the idea of the autoloader. That's okay. Do we really need regeneration weave? Hmm. So far it worked well. Yeah. I think it's okay. Good. For um, for Verge, the only thing that we haven't really um, found a solution to is how to incapacitate the enemies without um, giving up really good ammunition. We've decided here for Venom Rounds and for um, Caustic Rounds. Both of them will not give him the option to regenerate, but I think we can live with that. He'll, he will just have two regeneration instead of four or five, and that's okay. Reflex grip for an additional uh, for additional hits. I think the superior expanded magazine absolutely makes sense. Uh, the turncoat grenade was okay, but against chrysalids, mm, so and so. Yeah, not a hundred percent sure how how well I like that. What we could do is we could give him trank rounds. Uh, so that he at least can finish his own targets and keep them in his uh, neural network. I think that's a compromise which which is okay. I like the turncoat grenade generally. It's a good item, but against chrysalids and robots it is just an item that is not necessarily super useful. Um, against them, a stun grenade would be much more useful. Who has the stun grenade? Plasma grenade, motile inducer, AP rounds. Who had the stun grenade? Drink rounds, nanomed kit. Oh, here we are, shock grenade. All right, shock grenade and nano med kit. I think the shock grenade is better against uh, the targets that we're currently fighting. Um, the cease fire bomb worked reasonably well. I liked it because it um, it costed the enemy one turn to reload, and some of the enemies just like the um, uh, robots or so the uh, normal Andromedons. Uh, um, the normal smaller robots, they, when they trigger their self-destruction and they reload afterwards, uh, they are essentially doing nothing. Um, I would like to take blue screen rounds. AP is good. Blue screen rounds um, for robots seem to be uh, even better. And we continue using nano med kit. Uh, the poison immunity is good. The immediate heal, uh, once it's needed, is good as well. So, let's go and do the mission. I absolutely like the squad and how they present themselves. 
looks good. I would probably change this one here for the Motile and User, but uh, that's currently with Torque, and Torque is in training. But what one can do is one can uh, remove Torque from training because she has actually not started yet uh, yet with her training. Um, and then one can change the motile and user and instead of the relocation disk motile and user ah, damn it Okay, so nano med kit. Um, we wanted caustic rounds, and the third item was motel inducer. Thank you. And for her, it is relocation disk, nano med kit and I like the Venom rounds. Okay, good, perfect. Now I forgot to put her back onto training. Oh my god. Thank you. Please go for the training. And we can finally start the mission. Okay, so Motile and User. That's a strong item. I like it. And it will further give her the ability to enable others, such as Blue Blood. And that is our standard team. So let's take a look and see how well they are doing. It's kind of a refresher. We have played a lot with other teams now. Let's see how the classical, like original four characters are doing together. Sacred Coil attacked this Riverside Market. Shooting the place up, menacing civilians. So, business as usual for Sacred Coil. Got it. All right, breach mode. Everyone surprises. Uh, defense, defense, stun, and aim. All right. I would like to start with the ones that can manipulate the action economy. And then continue with uh, Cheer Up and Blue Blood. Time to breach. All right, so we got a turret and a guardian right here. Andromedon right there, another Andromedon, a Purifier, an Android, and a Commando. Good. I would say since the Guardian is surprised, it's not the end of the world. The Andromedon is a bit nasty. Might as well start with that. Shredding its armor. So that one is going down. We do have blue screen rounds loaded, so we're aiming for the turret because that's a purity war for the andro uh, android. I think we're going for the android. Purely mechanical creature. Yep, blue screen rounds are incredibly good.
Good. One of three encounters. How about we are throwing a shock grenade here? That already stunned the Guardian and took out half of the Andromedon. I would like to continue by stunning this Commando. Yep, that worked like a charm. And then we're taking the Purifier in order to deal some damage to his own kin. Okay, so whom do I think I'd like to enable? We got a turret next. It's an easy kill. I think we're going to use our action for extra damage. Time to take out the turret. Blue screen rounds are incredibly good against mechanical targets. And we gotta deal with that Andromedon over there. I don't like to deal with that Andromedon, so let's pin it down and force it to have a later initiative. Cheer up, gives himself a kinetic shield, because why not? And starting to soften up the purifier. Uh, that will suck because we will end up burning again. I don't like that. But I don't want to use team up either. I think we're going to be fine. Should have killed him uh, earlier when I had the chance. Getting rid of the Andromedon shell. 16 points of damage, that's crazy. Alright, that's good enough to kill. Setting up the Andromedon again. Unfortunately a miss. But we can at least kill the Purifier. The Andromedon, however, will get a turn. A single one, though. And the explosion will happen. Sucks. I don't like it. My mind over yours. Stunning the Andromedon even further.
And let's kill the Guardian. Nice one, good job, Verge. Does he call for reinforcements? The fire thinks I'm kindling. You are in grave danger. See, that's what I don't like about the fire. There's only so much you can do about it. In this case, waste our nanomed kit. Need to be careful with uh, future with uh, future purifiers. Time to definitely hit that Andromedon. Well done, shred it. Cheer up kinetically shields himself against the fire. All right, let's take out the Andromedon. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that's a hundred percent kill. We could either mind flay him, which is not going to be enough damage. But thanks to his very, very solidified position. It's maybe the best thing we could do. Oh, wait a second, we do have... Wait a second. I think we can take a shot and it won't end the turn. Yep, I'm right. We need backup. Yeah, of course. Chirrup gets some healing and is removed from the burning effect. And we're finally getting rid of the full cover. Fire's about to spread. Get away from there. Protected from all angles. Giving Blue Blood some extra aim. All right, Blue Blood is moving over here. Gets us ever vigilant. Third degree, at least. Moving over here. And let's overwatch. I'm a bit sad the reinforcements were unnecessary, but overall the encounter was uh, was very, uh, very much controlled. Given that it's uh, that we had two Andromedons, then well, that went pretty well. All right, controlling the commando. Okay, 
Yeah, the more the more enemies are in his uh, neural network, the easier time he has to simply hit everyone. Let's get rid of the Guardian. Or almost get rid of him. Perfect, there we go. Chirp is still burning, despite healing him and all of my other efforts. What the actual F. Armored up. There we go. And blue blood kills the commando. Or not. Low on ammunition. Very good. Sacred coil. I thought I felt something unpleasant. Okay, breach mode. Um, last get uh, unit uh, gets plus one, and last unit gets a plus, uh, gets an extra action point. Okay. We are we are going to take the cease fire bomb, refresh the hit points a little bit. And that's going to be all right. Let's go. And the game crashed. Perfect. Let me restart it. All right, restarted, and we can try the breach again. Just to see that the game is again crashing. What the hell? All right, and we're back. It took me three restarts. To even get the breach uh, to work. Apparently the medkit healing uh, of the drone seemed to cause the entirety of the system to go down. I have no idea what kind of bug that is, but I hope it's going to work better now. All right, got a guardian. Uh, it's probably our target. The purify. Ah, let's take the purifier first. I don't want to burn again. Learned my lesson the last time. There we go. And with blue screen rounds, we are targeting the Mac. Nice. 12 points of damage. Thanks to Phalanx, we definitely have a lot of charges on our shield now. Okay, gotta deal with the Andromedon as well. Good, we get an extra action here. And honestly, I think for that one action, I'm considering to simply face off.
Yep, worked like a charm. We're keeping our super charge. I don't think that we that we would need it uh, right now. Let's give Blue Blood the kinetic shield. That's fine. What I would want to do is I would want to get rid of the Andromedon. Commander's almost down, that's good. Yeah, let's take out the guard. Uh, let's take out the Andromedon for sure. Perfect. Stun for two is exactly what we were looking for. Battle Madness to shoot your friends. Not like this. To that position. Oh, that's surprisingly high amount of damage. But thanks to our uh, shootback ability, like. Um, we can immediately retaliate. Safeguarding. You didn't have to do that. Shirup is almost full again. So what are we going to do? Two Guardians and the Andromedon. I think we're going for the Andromedon first. Wow. Finally, the Andromedon goes down. And the shell cannot take cover, which is great. Shell takes extra damage uh, from blue screen rounds, which is also good. And we can take out the commando here. There we go. Cheer up uh, regenerates his own health. Good, so let's start with Battle Madness on the Guardian here. Potentially killing his friend. There we go, perfect. And we follow up with our own shot. healing and we're full again. Yeah, the team works again incredibly well. I definitely know why I've drafted them originally. Even tough encounters like that. I'm guessing so did they. Huh. Advent, they are not. That's some good news. Few enemies over here. Last unit is marked versus... Units automatically activate Overwatch after the Breacher. We're going to go through that. 
ceasefire is an option the other one would be the holo scanner yes i like it terminal afterwards and blue blood let's go Reaching in. All right, we do not have fa uh, we do not have phalanx. The purifier is definitely a good target. Another purifier, a guardian, an android, and a dromedon. Lots of good targets here. Very target-rich environment. I think we might want to hit some of the purifiers. Do we want to kill the guardian? Um, lift the guardian? No, probably not. Let's instead try to get as many of the enemies as possible. One purifier is down. Marking the other purifier. How injured is the other one? Not enough to die just from the acid burn, so we're going to kill it. That way the fire is at least not a problem. We took some damage, it's okay though. I'll cover you. Good looking out. Got you covered. We need you to cover us. All right, supercharging. Perfect. I'll let Terminal stay in Overwatch for now. But I definitely would want to take Blue Blood up here. Uh, cheer up almost has healed up uh, the damage that he has taken. And let's think about it. I mean, we could theoretically move up, but we might as well give Blue Blood the kinetic shield for extra aim. And we're turtling, that's good. We could position ourselves here, that's three in a row. We could position ourselves here, that would be even better, like that's four in a row. Commander would die right away. Mech would probably ri die right away. Guardian not right away, but close. Nice hit. Let's try to take out as many as we can. Wow, 17 thanks to the overcharge and blue screen rounds. Yep, that is two down and Terminal has Guardian, so she continues to take shots. All right, moving up here. Quickly. And let's try to stun the Andromedon completely. Unfortunately, not completely. Only partially stunned. The amount of return fire and overwatches that we have is fascinating. Uh, we're going to enable Verge. And Verge is going to do what I wanted to do for a long time. He's puppeteering and taking over the Andromedon. 
strong mind. Such a strong ability. Afterwards, let's enable blue blood. And Blue Blood continues to wreak havoc. <laughs> the damage is crazy. The damage is just crazy, and with mind control, that's mind control is permanent, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I th I still think that the team is is incredibly strong. It's just very safe to play. There is um, it's maybe not as flashy as other teams, but cheer up and his ultimate. Oh my god, that was so much damage. That was so much damage. Good. Heads up. The city council is calling an emergency session. Confidence in 31 PD is at an all-time low. You can blame Sacred Coil for that. I think we're all right, but if there's any blowback, I'll let you know. So, in terms of next mission, what is this here? Free field team. We don't know uh, we don't need that. We located Sacred Coil's cathedral. It's literally underground, drawing an immense amount of power from the city's grid. They aren't hiding anymore. Whatever they're powering up, we need to shut it down. All right, sounds like a plan. I mean, we could we could go for the uh, for the mission. We don't need to level up anything anymore. Potentially a couple of training stays for Verge um, at work, but that's all we need. I think we can simply follow uh, the mission. This here doesn't really change anything. So yeah, the next one will be taking down the um, um, Sacred Coil Cathedral. In terms of our Prime team, I actually like all of uh, the abilities um, and also our equipment. The loadout was pretty damn good. I like where that is going. Um, healing, in many cases, wasn't even needed. And yeah, it was well-rounded overall. I guess the only thing, uh, his self-healing, I could see that that uh, could have been skilled differently. The ammunition, like blue screen rounds, definitely carried its weight. So that was good. Um, and other than that, I mean, it wasn't even close. No one ever came close to actually being um, being killed. There's a lot of action uh, economy that you can enable uh, with terminal and with a motile, um, with a motile infuser. That's even better. I probably would buy another one or two from the black market. I think it's a that's pro probably one of the stronger items, comparing it to I don't know a grenade or so. We do have still slots left open. I would say it's it's a pretty strong item. Yeah, better than a shock grenade for sure. The nano med kits, I don't know. It depends. Not everyone needs ammunition, though. Um, I mean, his venom rounds, yeah, good to have. I I would agree, but another motile inducer, I could see that that's even. On average, dealing more damage because he could uh, throw to uh, to blue blood, and blue blood just takes two shots and kills everyone. Um, so 
that is an option. I would really want to see how Torque is doing um, because I think I've made up my mind. Um, he's more flexible overall. Um, Spectre is uh, pretty damn, a uh, shelter is pretty damn good in uh, supporting the team and just offering a lot of dynamic on the battlefield. In our particular case, I think he and Verge are overlapping a little bit um, in the psionic department. The restrictions that Soulfire, um, as well as the um, the uh, relocate and his writhe ability all require um, biological targets and his psionics also require biological targets means that there is a larger area uh, which is untapped unnecessarily larger area which is uh, which would be untapped and i mean cheer up really has a strong um synergy together with uh, blue blood this is undeniable he can enable that character so so well and just keep him out of trouble um and and he um, himself when regenerating uh, seems to just take um, take a lot of damage he's con continuously in half cover hard to hit um and uh, yeah, the enemies uh, still need to focus him because uh, elsewise shields are coming up and up and up and up. So I think overall a pretty uh, pretty good character. Um, a few things that I noticed though is um, I think he's not scaling that well. Uh, the the ultimate I've made up my mind is probably when you have someone like uh, Blue Blood is. Is strong enough to be an ultimate. The abilities here, I don't know yet. Not hundred percent convinced. Um, not hundred percent convinced. But maybe, um, maybe I'm. I'll just need to uh, fully learn him. Uh, the team is missing a bit of AOE damage. That AOE damage I noticed in the other group, specifically uh, with uh, Claymore is um is pretty good at the moment uh, the aoe damage is our plasma lens in the face of which is okay so blue blood is uh yeah i guess blue blood is doing aoe damage yeah okay i'll think a little bit more about it i just thought i'll give you my first impressions of where we're heading with the team thank you so much for watching guys it's almost an hour um, and uh, this episode needs to end i hope you enjoyed it we are very close to finishing act three so let's keep it on and see you in the next run bye bye